happy December 1st. Happy first day of Vlogmas, Bookmas. First day of Vlogmas, I'm so excited. Today's plans are to pick my TBR for December. I am going to decorate my room. We already decorated the living room. We put up the Christmas tree on Sunday. I will share with you guys some clips on here as well of that. And that's pretty much all. And then I'm going to watch The Grinch. I did create a movie checklist if you guys want to follow that. Um, it will be down in my description box. And I also created a Christmas checklist if you guys want to follow that as well. Um, I made it all in-home activities because we were in quarantine and we couldn't really do anything outside. Right now I'm currently working. I have my coffee and my Santa mug. I noticed that I had a glitter inside so I had to remove it. I can still see a little bit of glitter inside but coffee with glitter. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah yes, December 1st. Happy holidays. And I also have my snowman sweater. I hope you guys enjoy the first day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys read a lot this month. Right, see you guys in a bit. yesterday and this is a green green chili one and it's so freaking good um, I'm probably gonna gain a lot of calories this month but it's totally fine you know we're it's the holidays we got to eat lots of pozole and tamales and a bunch of food <laughs> all right so before I do anything else I wanted to update you guys with my readings it is currently 11 22 a.m. and I am waiting for my zoom meeting that I have, but I wanted to update you guys with what I'm reading. Um, I started reading Beneath the Scarlet Sky by Mark Sullivan last week, but this weekend I did not read anything. I'm currently on chapter 10 of Beneath the Scarlet Sky. I am absolutely loving this one. I just think that um, I fell in love with the main character who is Pino, and he is an 18 year old boy who lives through the World War through World War II. The He's a teenager who's obsessed with who's obsessed with food, music, and definitely girls. Takes us through the last 23 months of the war. I'm really hoping to finish this. I am not even halfway, but hopefully I am able to finish it. Um, I'm gonna work a half three minutes. I'll update you guys later.
So I just painted my nails. I went with red, green, and white just because they're Christmas colors. I'm just like really in the Christmas spirit this month. I'm gonna start decorating my pine tree that I bought at Vons. I bought some mini spheres and some Christmas lights. now 5 24 p.m and i have been decorating all day now it's time to share my tbr with you guys so for this month i do plan on reading a lot of books because obviously it's the last month of the year and 2020 is almost gone so um so far on goodreads 
I'm four books ahead of schedule and I need three more I need three more books to finish my challenge and I plan on reading 80 books in total and right now I have read 77 books the whole year so wow that's um, if I can see my past challenges, I have read, let's see. So I started 2016. 2016, <laughs> I put a challenge. I did, I did do a reading challenge and in 2016, I read zero books. <laughs> um, in 2017, I read three out of 10 books. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Um, in 2018, I read three of a hundred books. <laughs> And then in 2019, I read 50 out of 80 books. No, 50 out of 90 books. This year, I planned on reading 80 books, and I'm so close to finishing my challenge. Um, so that's why I'm trying to hustle and try to finish those three books before the year ends. Okay, so this background is way better. First one that I'm already started and I plan on finishing this month is Beneath the Scarlet Sky. And I already explained a little bit about it. So um, I left off on page 119. The second book that I'm going to be reading is Christmas Chopaholic by so Sophie, by Sophie Kinsella. And this one, I actually got it at the thrift store last year. No, this year, in the beginning of the year. And, I'm, and I just picked it up because I knew that I was gonna read it this year for December. About Becky Brandon, who is returning from the United States. Um, and she's going to live with her best friend who owns a gift store. She still adores the traditions of Christmas that her parents host, which consists of um, singing carols on repeat, um, her mom making Christmas pudding. Her parents are moving to another place and they asked her to host a party. And the third book that I'm going to be reading is The Glass Castle by Janet, Jeanette walls and i've heard that this one is pretty sad i already talked about it on my other video i'm gonna be reading a cra crazy little thing called love by charlotte butterfield i just wanted to throw in a romance in there next book that i'll be reading is between shades of gray by ruta sepides she is amazing i love her without um one of my favorite books of this year was is salt to the sea and that book is amazing. It's historical fiction. You guys need to read it if you haven't. In Shades of Grey is a historical fiction by Rhoda Sepides. It follows Lena, who is a 15-year-old girl, and it takes place in the year 1941. But one day, Soviet officers barge into their home, carrying her family from the comfortable life that they live. Then they are separated from their father, and they're, they're forced to make their way north, crossing the Arctic Circle to a work camp in the coldest areas of Siberia. Through it all, Lena documents events by drawing, hoping that one day they'll reach his father at the prison camp where he's at and it is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and the last book that I'm going to be reading is Winter Garden by Hannah Kristen Kristen Hannah <laughs> that's are all the books that I'm going to be reading um, there are one two three four five I think there's like eight books in total concealer okay I just put it together and I got a tea tree oil and my cleanser to detox and brighten mm -hmm. 